What's up, y'all? It's Jane Pumping back with another message to let you guys know that they are suffering in silence. <laughs> and if you're wondering why, Collective, it's because of your recognition and reward. They do not want us to know this. So somebody is born in 1993. Somebody's born is, uh, birthday is September 3rd. Okay. Life path number nine and three. Let's get right into it. Yay. Because look, these people can't even sleep at night thinking about what's about to happen to you. And for a lot of you guys, baby, you ain't even got started yet. I'm going I'm to let y'all know. We going to be cussing this. Well, we cuss all the time. But yeah, we. I, I, I'm feeling like, yeah. <laughs> I just keep hearing like, what's up with you bitches? Like, that's what I keep hearing. Like, what's up? Like, now they, what do they need your help with? Because when you were suffering in silence, while they was thinking that they was overpowering you, they didn't care about you. So I just like, I'm just trying to figure out like what it's given for real, because it's like, what? Oh yeah. Cause this is coming straight down from the heavens. So somebody, somebody here has been learning how to pull down spirits more. Or if you're wondering what's been happening, that could, that's what's happening for a lot of y'all crown chakra. So cover your head when you're channeling any energy. Okay. Cleanse before and after. Okay. But y'all already know that cause you've been okay. Also right here, I was getting the hermit card. So, baby, you, when you had to go in and, oh, my God, see, you, you walk about it. You don't just talk about it. Like, you're really about this life. Like, you really, <laughs> somebody found this out the hard way, okay? You really, like, walk through the cosmos. But the reason why they, these people don't know this about you is because <laughs> in your reality, the way that you've been taught is, like, balance. So, look at that. Ah, uh ah, -huh. uh -huh. That's why you mad. Ah, 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 look, little bitch. Ah, ah, bitch. I know you're lying. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Anyway, I thought a, uh, I thought a monitoring spirit ass bitch said something. <laughs> what? What? I thought a weak minded hoe said something. Okay, back to what we said. So they are definitely suffering in silence because look how short their fucking bridge is, bitch. They could never. <laughs> Oh, they thought they didn't know what the dark they didn't know what the dark nights of the soul was. Oh, oh, so they didn't know what yin and yang was. They didn't know what the divine balance was. Mm. That's what happened. Oh, so they got too impressed by this little this little three of pentacles, bitch. <laughs> it was three three when I said that. What's up? Oh, what's up? They wasn't tapped into their their dark feminine. See, some people just pick one side. And and they don't recognize the other. So they thought they could do all this dark magic and what? They thought they could use and abuse. Oh, it came back to bite them in the ass. And it's 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 biting them through the dreams. Okay. These people are very concerned, very confused. How did you balance your life out? How did they send all this all these weak ass shits to you and you balance it out? Because that's what a real boss does. Because you're Patience and planning with the divine. Okay. All right. Because see, I just had to whoop a little stupid ass bitch up in the spirit. I'm going to keep it transparent. What's up? That pause. Yeah, I just had to whoop the shit out of a bitch just now. So anybody who's watching this. Yeah, 129 could have been your birthday. Somebody's a Aquarius bitch. Cancer. What's up? Y'all need to hear it like this today. Casey was just wondering what the fuck that noise was that was just in your house. It was a pussy ass bitch. Don't worry. We bind that hoe up and banish her back. Or I'm sorry. My bad. Got a little too personal, bitch. We bind they ass up, whoever it is. Any unwanted spirits, any unwanted spirits is specifically the monitoring one. We bind you up, rebuke you, and banish you. Send you back to where you came from times a thousand and tip the scales to the side of my collective. Ashe namaste. Amen. So, right. Um... The foundation has always been there. And that's the issue with the 212 on the clock. Look that up. How they gonna build a house with no motherfucking squares, bitch? 222. Two, two. Come on, spirit. Thank you. How they gonna build a house when they don't even with no with no balance? No no union between them and their higher self. See, they do too motherfucking much. They play too much. So if I get into it with them, I'm, I'm going to have to live here. See, because they got real confused. See, that's what they did, right? They always want to monitor you, right? They always want to watch you. Always try to think they can step into your dream world. They don't even know what's going on. They don't even know that you... Okay, Spirit. Sorry. Queen of Swords. 
They really don't know the truth about you. They don't know how you do this. They're scared. You could be Libra, Aquarius, Gemini in your charts. Either way, bitch, you're aired out. <laughs> bitch, they don't know what's going on. They don't know what is going on. They're like, what the fuck is going on? Trust me on that one. And bitch, they want to fight. <laughs> I want you to know they want to fight. In case you was wondering, they want to fight. But, bitch, you done put the ass in the recovery house. See, because you've been expanding. See, your spirit has been expanding your, your house. Like, expanding your name. Like, your bloodline. Expanding your territory and jurisdiction. 333, thank you. A lot of y'all have the ascended wa masters walking with you. Or they walk with your ancestors. So, that's relayed to you. Yes, perfection. Look, somebody's been spending more time at their altar, leaving more offerings, and also somebody spits the rum on it or you've been putting smoke on it. Yeah. Yeah. Let go of that guilt. You see this chain on her arm? The key was on the last. If you guys rewind this one, 404, four, four, come on. Spirit is in the house. See, they wanted you to feel guilt about your growth. Uh-uh. Bitch. How'd you get this miracle? They don't know. So on the last one. There was a key. Remember on the last card, there was a key. It's in the deck now. But if y'all look back, it was a key. That's the key to unlock it. So she just got to move forward. Keep growing. Keep going. Expansion again. Nothing's perfect. You know what I'm saying? There's no what there's no such thing as perfect. Any more cards out of here for the collective? Thank you. Workaholic isolation. Yes. Bitch. You did a whole lot of work, you and spirit. Y'all built something out of nothing. They're leveling you up at this time. Somebody's going to like a formal event here. Uh somebody's also going to an art showing. invitation expect an invitation due to okay so it's going to be a couple different energies on here so definitely take it where it resonates thank you spirit but see whatever it is that you isolated yourself and you've been working on but you're about to get an invitation somewhere look it says i don't know if y'all can see that but it says invitation right there yeah it's gonna be hard to see that but trust me it says invitation right there okay and um so dress nice so somebody needs to make sure that you dress nice when you're invited to an event. Somebody's about to get a phone call about this. Like I just heard the, the ring, like the phone call ringing. Roots. So if there was mm, roots, growth. Yeah. So there was a root. Somebody tried to throw a root on you in an emergency to stop your acceptance through this gossip and perseverance. Wow. Yes, bitch. Because all, when all these people gossiped about you, you all, all it did was make you accept yourself. I feel like that whatever roots that they try to throw at you guys had an adverse reaction. They don't know what the fuck to do. They was over here trying to mess with you, trying to put shit in your food. But then they didn't know that your ancestors told you not to eat the food and made you something else. Or your ancestors knocked the whole motherfucking pie over. You see what I'm saying? Your ancestors said, I'll knock that motherfucking pie over and give you a new one before I allow you to fucking eat that shit. See, they were counting on you to be impatient. See, this person is impatient. So they're about to speak up and tell you the truth about this. And they don't mean to, but this what they're going to ask you for forgiveness. So if somebody randomly calls you or messages you or something and they ask for forgiveness, random as fuck, this is who I'm talking about. They have something to do with it, okay? Yeah. Abundance, because, oh, well, you got miracles of abundance. Solar plexus. Look, so... Somebody's too close. Look at this. So let me tell you something. Okay, I keep hearing extra protection wards at your house are might be necessary. You might need to up do or not even up your protect. Add an extra ritual this week to your lineup or this every, this two weeks. Okay, um, because this person right here. See, because he drinks his life away, and there's no judgment to that, because I, you know, I like my champagne. But I'm saying this guy right here, he's like, he's crying, he's sad, and he's speaking negativity over himself. He's like sad, and he's probably telling himself how stupid he is for making whatever mistake he is. So they're telling you, don't be like this guy, because spirit heard this guy. Um, but then, yeah, spirit heard this guy. 
But then, see, okay, now that I'm really looking at it, it's actually different than I'm interpreting it. But no, I still saw the picture that I saw, so I'm gonna continue. They're telling you, don't be so caught up in the in the in the crying that you miss the blessing, because she's putting it down there, and it came to the other side. But what I really saw was this lock. This is what I saw. Spirit showed me him, and there's a lock. Like he missed it because of the lock, but she didn't. Look, his. If you see his bubble, it goes around the lock. Hers goes inside to the abundance. I mean, they both do, but if you know, you know. So I saw that lock and I was like, bro, don't lock yourself off because we don't speak. I was reading something today that said like basically like negative words are like black magic. Like, and you know, that's true. I always say that, but I just, it's funny that I read that today and this is coming out. But anyway, don't be so focused on the what you're losing because the what you're losing is to make room for what you what's to come, what you don't have yet. Balance can be bittersweet. Come on, spirit. Thank you. There's a dove trying to talk to you. You've been making a lot of sacrifices. Somebody's birthday just passed. Or this is something happening around your birthday here. And I feel like this is why you're getting so much abundance as well. Because you've isolated yourself and worked hard on the connection between you and spirit. Okay, let's go ahead and get this some tea. Because, yeah, you've been controlling these, these dreams. Like, you've been controlling, learning how to control the, the illusions that they thought they had around you. Because every time you defeat these entities that they try to send, it's like... You just level up. I keep saying, telling y'all that, but there is somebody wanting to see you're able to control your dreams. A lot of y'all are lucid dreamers. Okay. Yeah. And that's why they're suffering in silence. Cause you have, you see shadow versus light, like your, your conscious versus your unconscious. You're the type of person who balances and works through both of it. And they didn't know what that meant. They didn't really know what that meant for real, but you held this close to your heart. You were given a promise from your spirit team and they told you, as long as you keep this close to your heart, you'll, you'll never fail. You'll always succeed. Okay. Clarify the suffering in silence, please, with the recognition and reward. Thank you. Yeah. Four cups is in reverse. They're like, bitch, I'm not trying to miss out on the collective anymore. They're so desperate at this point. They're desperate for you. They're desperate for your attention. Because they were too busy looking at the child. They were too busy looking at your cup and trying to steal from you. You defeated the shit out of these people. They are crying. Yep. Because they... <sighs> Bitch, for a lot of y'all, y'all could really tell the future. Y'all could have told this person that they were going to deceive y'all like this. <laughs> Almost like Jesus did Peter. You know? But this is someone that they thought that you... <laughs> they thought that you were losing. Long story short... <laughs> Oh, how the tables turn. One thing about them tables, they're going to always turn. Because when they left you out, so when they weren't answering your phone calls and then they were trying to cheat on you and act like everybody else was more important than you, than you or acting like you didn't have that much ranking or like you weren't that important, you know, however this goes for you, they're regretting it. Because they you took their same energy <laughs> and threw it like, like you, you fucking, you got it off you and transmuted it, which leveled you up to the queen of cups that is so now like all those things they thought you didn't know not only do they know like not only do you know that you always knew you've gotten more gifts you've gotten more clear cancer by scorpio energy it's giving big mommy energy <laughs> recognition and reward bitch they tried to shit on you bitch they tried to shit on you now they want you back they're like, oh my God, can you please help me? It's because somebody made the wrong choice here. They didn't, they thought they, and then look, they tried to, they tried to like manipulate you and be a narcissist, right? But then they got what they, whatever it was that they played in your face for, look, that's what they have in their hand. And then they're like, oh my God, I want the collective back. Oh no, it's too damn late. Bitch, that ship has sailed a long time ago. Ciao. But yeah. They try to leave you out to dry, child. Anyway, this is definitely somebody who wants to return from the past. They want to um, unconditionally love you, but they had the choice before and they didn't do that. So now that's why, that's why, look, that's why you have nothing but miracles and abundance, bitch. Because they forced you into isolation. And now you have real, like real soulmate connections where it's lovers, friends, family, like you've gotten your family connections right. But that's all after you jumped into your queen of swords energy. And best believe your spirit guides are letting me know to tell you like, baby, you, ain't shit changed you just got better you got more clear you got more sure and more strategic you've gotten more like like less emotional yeah because you held things close to you before you understand how important emotions can be 
Yeah, people have left you out to dry before. Yeah, Knight of Cups is the Queen of Pentacles energy. You're rebuilding yourself. See? Oh, my God. Yeah. You're literally rebuilding yourself and your foundation. I feel like this is who's coming towards you. Because, look, this is what you're walking away from. A player-ass fuck person. Some these are This is practitioners as well. This is heavy, heavy lovers and practitioners, though. This is a lot of, like, sick people. Tell us more about the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. She's seeing clearly why these people have been stopped. I feel like somebody definitely wants to come towards you and make this offer because they saw how, how serious you were. Like, shit, you probably could have cut them off. I'm telling you, like, even people that you're really stone-faced to, child, they, it's like it's turning them on or something. Because they, they're, like, really mystified by you. They're like, what? It's like they really want to know you. They're like, you keep they're like, how does the collective keep stopping me? But I just I really want to know. Like, it's some sick shit. Yep, we got the letters on the bottom of the deck. They wanna, so these people want to start a business with you now. Like, it's giving the energy of your ops set this person, and then that person fell in love with you. And let me tell you, my girl Empress Bella, y'all can definitely y'all should definitely look her up. She is on YouTube, one of my favorite readers. She's she says that. But this is like the first time, like, well, no, I mean I I be getting that message too, but I'm saying like, I don't really know if I said it on my channel because it don't be popping out. Like, not exactly like that, but it just fucking popped out right now. It's like, because I was getting that message earlier, dude. It's like, dude, like, whew, they, they really working for the wrong person and they figure that out fast. They thought this shit was a game, but it ain't. Thank you. Um, but anyway, they've been, they've been sacrificed and put on pause because they had to sit and time out and think about what they did to you in the past. They have to repay for not only what they just did to you, but what they did to everybody else before you. Oh, yeah. They thought it was a game. They thought these bad business deals that they ran out of, that they weren't going to have to pay for that. Oh, yeah, no. No. No, it was a matter of time before the high priest was about to come get that ass back. Yep, look at you. You're the high priestess. If you close out all these cycles, bitch, please. Look, King of Pentacles is now your emperor. Look at that. Or, or vice versa. I can't make this up. The king of the fucking emperor and the, and the um, high priestess, they're making a lot of moves. That's who your lover is. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. This is getting juicy. All right, thank you, Spirit. Can you just clarify miracle and abundance for the collective? Thank you. Whoa, and it's given to you from your ancestors and your family lineage. It's a lot of changes. I felt I feel an influx in abundance and miracles. Expect a miracles. So expect miracles. Pay attention to the smoke when you're using like incense or smoking any type of herbs or you know in any way. Pay attention to the smoke or your candles. What's going on? You're being communicated with. You're in the high priestess status. Somebody's going through a lot of ascensions at this time. Because you've closed out a lot of cycles and battles. High defense. That's the truth. That's the law. You you follow the laws. You follow the rules. Like, But the real rules? Yeah. Moving forward, bitch. You're like, I'm not playing no more. Yep. You've ascended. Oh, my God. Some of you guys are really like... You and your partners, too. Or you and... Whoever's supposed to be in your life, whether it's your close friends or whatever, bitch, y'all are top tier because you're like real cutthroat. Like, you mean, you've been anyway, y'all have been through a lot of dark nights of the soul and you have obviously balanced it out well. And the people that you keep around you are fucking solid, baby. They did. And these people really regret it. They didn't know who you were. They thought the person they were working for was stronger than they were because the person they working for over promised some shit. But now they're being blocked. They were trying to nickel and dime your, oh my God. So whoever this person was that was set up in your energy to play games, they are getting nickel and dime by the, by the op because the op ain't really about what they say they're about because they are not allow, aligned. They're not allowed or aligned. Yeah, they got to work. Bitch. No. Uh-uh. No, because look, no. Uh-uh. The high priestess is too strong here. Okay. Do me a favor. Please stand by this 608. Swords. You literally got up and moved, bitch. And some of you guys. Okay, take this where it resonates. Somebody is leaving a, like a, a cult. Somebody is leaving an organized, an organized organization, if you know what I mean. Somebody here is leaving a group. 
Take this where it resonates. Somebody, y'all, or y'all left this group. It's like, y'all left this, this, the same thinking in your family. Like, there were some family members that had like, oh, you just do what I say, not as I do. Like, I don't know. It's giving stuck in their ways. It's giving people who have been crowned and like named different titles. And they stand on those titles a lot. And they could have been the one leading the family before or leading something, leading the direction of something before. But bitch, uh-uh. Your aunt, like the spirit came through and knocked their asses off. And I'm talking about with a quickness. And th that was through you. Child, look, the chariot keeps. <laughs> the chariot, they really want you to know that you pushed forward. You made it. But whoever moved away from this situation, it was really hard. It was like these people had like, or they made you think they had more than you, whether they did or didn't. This is like people who are like way, like if we're going by titles, like these people were quote unquote way. <clears throat> This is crazy. This is like giving somebody who has a master's degree but can't do the damn job that you can do. <laughs> like, you know, that just take that where it resonates because I don't want to be too specific here. If y'all think, if this is your story, hit me up for a person to read it. Okay, we can talk about it in private. But anyway, back to the tea, child. This is some tea. Yeah, they said go on, move forward because this person is blind their self. <laughs> so they don't even know the truth. Oh my God. Like, you know what I mean? So you have, you like literally have to, you're in an abstract thinking. Like shit is not what it seems like. Wow, it's crazy. Okay, take it. I hope y'all know what I'm saying. Okay, six of swords, please. Clarify six of swords for us. Thank you, Spare. You're coming through. Justice, yeah. That's the justice card. Because you're blossoming, you're blossoming into something beautiful. Yeah, your spirit team is telling you maybe, just maybe, just teeter with the thought of it, is, if this is true. I know it seems far. Listen, allow yourself to accept the truth because you're no longer being juggled. See, these people that were juggling you that didn't know if they want. Okay, first of all, for a couple of y'all, somebody juggled you with someone else or they didn't want to take you serious. They, they were. But for y'all, that person was in balance and they don't know what the fuck's going on. For some of you guys, this person made you feel bad about having too many jobs or your business or something like that or not having that. And they're telling you, listen, fuck that shit. <laughs> fuck that shit. It don't matter. Okay. Yeah, because you were very strong. You showed abundance and you showed loyalty, bitch. And this is why justice came through. Ooh, all these people that played on your top in the past. See, now they're enlightened to just who, who you are because your spirit guys have come to tear them up. A lot of stuff is happening to them in their waking life. Okay, thank you. But that was a test of their loyalty and they weren't loyal. Look, temperance card. Thank you, spirit. That's the truth. And full card. Because they always wanted to start over with somebody else instead of... Sticking it out with you, with the person that spirit sent to them. Okay. Uh, let's clarify isolation, please. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Yeah. Because after this isolation, then you understood how much this person was manipulating the situation. And you're like, oh my God, they were never really, they were never loyal to me because they're never loyal to themselves. Somebody could be a Leo here. Yeah. Look, the tower card. Because this is a person who always tried to lie and make you feel like you're dirt okay they always had you in your head like oh my god if you do this you're gonna burn up from the inside out like no that was not true they were just doing that to try to keep you in line no wow so spirit forced an isolation period because it was about to get too close like whatever this was your spirit team pulled you out like i'm talking about in a nick of time this is why you've been, that's that's why you were pushed into the swords energy because they needed you to cut away everything and cut it away quickly. I just saw some people walking through it, like on the movie uh, Anaconda. I just saw them walking through like um, the jungle and like cutting it down. All that's, you know, a whole bunch of wild tree or like leaves. And, you know, you cut it down with the machete. That's what I see. So that's what your spirit team had to come in. Child, I need some water. Hold on. Oh. Also. Make sure you're drinking your water. You might need extra water at this time. I just saw the sun card, but yes. Also, especially if you're spending more time outside, it is warm. But yeah, you, whatever you worked on in the past, bitch, they are fucking hot. Girl, child, these folks is hot. They're like, damn it. How the fuck? Because look, all you had to do is send it back and look at them cold, freezing. <sighs> anyway one more after strength let's clarify strength for us for the isolation thank you so much Mary. we greatly too many let me just get one please thank you so much though thank you for strength oh god yeah they didn't have the strength yeah because this was a cheater this is someone who either cheated on you put you in a third party or thought you were cheating that's for some of you guys 
okay? But for a lot of you guys, this motherfucker made the wrong choice. They try to fool you, they try to lie to you about this ascension, man. Or a car, somebody tried to lie to you about a car, but this person was blinded. They didn't see things for what it really was. They didn't see you was on the come up. They really thought it was a motherfucking game. They feel stupid as shit. They they really feel stupid as shit because somebody really fooled the fuck out of them. Because even if it's not a third, like, and for, the, for those of you guys who is not a third party, this is literally just someone who came in your energy and fucking played. Now they... <laughs> They don't know how to handle the isolation like you do because they can't deal with the entities that you work with. See, because they done came over here unannounced and uninitiated and un, un, unseasoned, uneducated, really. Right? So they came over here trying to play with, they came over to your energy trying to play with your spirits. Oh, I'm sorry. Then your spirits followed them back and tormented their asses to this day. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you wanted to be me. Oh, I thought you do glamour spells to be like me, right? That's what y'all are saying. Oh, I thought you tried to blind people and bind them so that they love you instead of me. I thought, look, I just felt a left prick in my, um, a prick in my left foot. Yeah, voodoo doll. I was getting that. Yeah, I mean, but we know that these hoes, they're weird. Now it's on my right, um, right ring finger. Like, it is what it is, dude. What do you want me to say? Because they're the ones that are broke, busted, and disgusted. And they, it's like they're using the last bit of non-energy that they have to play with you. And that's their fault. That's why they're binded up way worse than you. Child, judgment has been sitting on the bottom the whole fucking time. Dun, 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 dun. They're reaping what they sow, which is bullshit. Ace of Cups. That's why they can't get no lover. Child, because they want to be like you. They see you looking happy. They see everybody loving on you. Child, they think you work with the devil, but they don't know that you and the devil came to a truce, bitch. It's called shadow work. It's called dark night of the soul. They could never, you see? Now they see the enemy. Look, they didn't see. Now they see the enemies that they have to defeat to even get to you. And they're scared shitless. Because before they even touch you in the space, before they even get into your realm, into your domain, they got to pass this motherfucker. Mixed with this. Hold up. Are they ready to pass all that? No, I didn't think so. Because look, even when they pass... Bitch, they still got to go through another layer of confusion and the devil before they touch you. Are you fucking slow? It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. It's way too much for them. So they might as well sit back and eat their food and go and pay for it. Pay for a seminar. Pay for a reading. Pay for a session. Pay for some time. Tell them to do that. Pay for pay for anything. Pay for your services. Pay for your rent. Pay for your car. Yeah, pay for your nails. Tell them I said that. Tell them Jane said it, okay? Thank you, spirit. Jane and her spirit guides said that. Straight like that. They use your kindness for weakness, but that's what they thought. <laughs> cute. That's cute. Look at this. Who is this? That's cute. That's real fucking cute, isn't it? That's real fucking cute, isn't it? I'm not even going to get into this, but you just take a look at this visual. Traitorous. Bitch. Guess what? All I'm going to say is look at this. This is supposed to be you, right? You want to know why these people look at you like they've seen a ghost? It's because they did, bitch. Not only did you come back alive, but you also are carrying a baby in there. This is gender neutral and it's not, doesn't matter if you have an actual baby. This is literally you. This is called transmuting the energy times a thousand bitches. That's what you did. They did this and they, that was their test from the divine. Not only did you come back alive because you never died, which they thought you did, but <laughs> their eyes fooled them. You came back pregnant, like with extra ideas. So whatever they stabbed you in the back with, like <laughs> you took all that hateful, range, uh, vengeful, traitorous energy and you pushed it back out to bring in your abundance. It's like, you're like, oh, okay, well now I don't even have to work. Like it's less work for me because I don't have to summon up, conjure up as much energy. <laughs> I don't have to use as much of my own energy. Yeah. You said, <laughs> get like me, ho. <laughs> Manifest like me, ho. What's up? Your friends on the other side are laughing at these motherfuckers. They just keep trying. So they don't know how they can throw so many things in your back and you are literally still on your fucking 
crown shit. Are you serious? Because you're a multiple manifester. See, these people who thought they was an empress, they've been manipulated by a trickster spirit. It says it right here. The trickster spirit told these people, if you stab the collective in the back, I promise you'll have riches. You'll have this and that. Ask them how well is that going? <laughs> Ask them what did that mean? Because to me, it's looking like you didn't took all their energy that they tried to hurt you with and used it for the greater good of your bloodline. That's what it looked like for your purpose. But anyway, so they're making, they want you to remember, baby, you are, you have a lot of, all, all the ideas that you had to go through hell and back for, oh, that you're, that's why you come back with a vengeance. That's why everybody who goes to you is sick in the head. Sick in the head and sick in the motherfucking face, okay? All right, victorious. Look at that. Recognition and reward. Again, like, bitch, you are victorious because you do the work. Okay? Yeah, period. They're mad as shit, bitch. Somebody's trying to come in and, and lie to you, manipulate you. Somebody that was putting you in a lineup with somebody, they want to come back and swoop you off your feet, be all passionate. But I feel like that's all they have to offer you is passion and money, maybe. But to talk to the spirit. Talk to your spirit guides and ask them to show you clearly. And remember, right now we are about to be in Mercury retrograde, so your exes are coming back. Now, whenever you see this message, it's for you. It's timeless, but that's the energy we're in. Because if it's meant to be, it will be. I feel like the spirit, you need to allow for, for those of you guys who are in separation with your divine counterpart, the spirit is saying, allow that space so that that so that both of you all can return more um, better, like more healed and more whole. Because, you know, you want to be able to give each other exactly all that they uh, that each other deserves. Okay? Sometimes we can be selfish and want to get back with somebody before it's time. I totally get it. We're just humans, you know? But they're telling you to wait. Especially right now, Mercury Retrograde. Because um, if you sign any contracts or start any new relationships, they will fail. If you take any exes back right now, it will fail. And it will be dramatically a fail, okay? Trust me, don't sign no leases, don't sign no contracts. Think about it. Only things you're allowed to do right now, per the stars, ask an astrologer. I didn't make the rules up, okay? I'm just telling y'all, I'm just giving you the tea. We are in Mercury retrograde shadow period, which means we start to see the effects right now. So, you, and Mercury retrograde is serious, okay? <laughs> y'all, those that know. Anyway, if you know, you know. But it's about communication. So, there will be hiccups in communication and there will be people returning from your past, okay? So be, be mindful. That's the enemy sending that through. Okay. So just be mindful. The enemy is just your shadow side though. Okay. Clarify workaholic for us. Somebody's definitely a painter and you've been channeling. Look at that. Magician. A lot of you guys are like seers, magicians, you're manifestors. You're like spiritual beings. And when somebody says that they're a spiritual being, see, see what spirits do they work with or see what type of energy do they reside with? Because everybody isn't what they say they are. Yeah, there's somebody that works heavily in chaos magic that's trying to reach out to you. They want you to start a new project with them. You're being guided to not do that. Okay? So, listen to how people speak, okay? Just wait this one out. Wait. These are major decisions I'm feeling coming up. And this is a test from your spirit guides. Remember, this is a test to see if you're going to fold under pressure. This is why the, the, the enemies are sending more chaos magic to you at this time, more confusion spells, because they want you to come in hot. They want you to get mad, but no. Remember what we're talking about. Okay. So for the final messages, what is the advice here, Spirit, for the collective? What should they do? What are they being guided to do? What are the next steps that they're being guided to do? Thank you, Spirit. Emperors in reverse. Okay. There's an old lover that wants to recoup. Okay. Okay, clarify what's the advice here. Yeah, let them stress. Let them stress. Release your burdens. Release your burdens. Because that's nothing but the enemy trying to have you have false guilt. So whatever you've already been forgiven for, release it. Let it go. Because you have a whole new plate coming up. Yep. And you're, you're able to walk single. This is why the judgment is... Bitch, judgment is being called on the enemy, this fake-ass worker. Child. Okay. Whoever these, <laughs> I'm telling you, bitch, whoever got paid to do work on you, who I hate it for them. I really hate it for them. <laughs> bitch, they, you are being guided to leave their asses in the dirt. Don't give them a motherfucking dime. Don't help them. Watch them fall. Like, 
for real. Like you have to watch them. Like seriously, you gonna have to watch them fall because your spirit team wants it engraved in your head so that you know this energy is real. This is a snake motherfucker waiting on you to be alone, waiting on because they know that your money. They know that the money's coming in slow because you have such a large amount, such a strong foundation. But your money is looking really good. You you've literally been touching a little bit of it recently. I definitely see that there has been an influx in someone's finances. If not, that's coming soon. And bitch, they are gossiping about you. They calling you. Every, they gonna be calling you everything but a child of God. But you don't give a fuck. They said if I don't get, you don't give a damn. We don't give a fuck. That, that's why. That's why spirit worked with you to balance your emotions so much these past few months, this past few years, because they knew what was coming. Don't give these motherfuckers a dime, because they tried to shit on you in the past. They put money over your connections in the past. Somebody sold their family out for money. No, ma'am. What's going on with this Ten of uh, Swords? Ten of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles, please. Yeah, because they cause illusions here. They were liars. They were lying. Somebody lied. And they had you in a in a lineup talking to so many people, plotting on you with so many people, like literally. But that shit was paused. They wanted to sacrifice you. Yeah, they thought that the, you weren't going to see this coming. They thought that you were going to be too focused on... Uh, you're pro like they thought you were going to be too excited to pay attention, but they really didn't know what was up. Just because they categorize the type of energy that they see you have as one way, they, they've never seen you with it, if that makes sense. So they like are assuming and they make out an ass out of you and me. They underestimate you, but that's their bad, not your. And it's coming, bitch, that, that ass whooping is hitting them so fast they don't even know who hit them. Clarify this seven of cups. This is getting really deep. They try to cause a lot of illusions, but your spirit team actually gave you the drop in a dream. This is why you've ascended. Somebody got a new house, money. It's a lot of money in this motherfucker. You're literally getting paid for old shit here, old stuff, stuff that you put out a long time ago. And also people are paying you because they love you and they see a lot of spark in you. They want to see you grow and ascend. I definitely see people returning to give you money, wanting to repay you for the shit they did to you in the past. Nine of Cups because they see you in this wish fulfillment. I told you, these people's motives are fucked up, man. They're in bed with some fucked up people. They're in bed with some fucked up high priestesses, bro. Yeah. The high priestess was trying to get these people to walk away from you, but they didn't know you were a high priestess too. I think they did know, but they thought you, that you weren't going to awaken or that you weren't awakened. But like I said, they should have did their motherfucking research, ho. They went into that dream world and got spooked the shit out of. And that's the motherfucking truth, bitch. They wish. Okay. Final card. But yeah, they're telling you, look out for people who would sell you out for money. Yeah. Look out for them because they don't have your best interest. Leave their asses in the fucking dirt. Okay.